can I borrow for myself if I want to invest in this real estate? Because that's the funds I have available today. The answer is, if it's a 401k and it has a participant loan provision, what's the answer? Yeah. Yes. Absolutely, yes. You can take out a loan. Now, here's the real issue. <clears throat> if you take out a loan, what do you have to go with the loan? How do you pay it back? Interest. interest. A payment okay. with interest, right? <clears throat> You're paying yourself back, and in today's environment at four and a quarter percent, that's cheap money. Would you agree? Yeah. It's absolutely cheap money, but it's a way to flexibly use your funds. So I actually did the calculation, and I said, look, a four to quarter percent, if I borrowed from myself for five years, has a $277.94 per month payment. Four to 15,000. Well, the 15,000 buys the whole package and everything that we're talking about. Great. But remembering the interest is going back to you. Over five years, you're going to pay yourself back about $1,700. And it goes back into your plan. The question is, is the investment worth it? It's a decision you'll make. But if I have the ability to do that, and I can come up with funds, because this is easy to get. If you have a 401k, this is easy to get. Now, I put a note there about business tax deductions in W-4. Because, and this is part of my, you know, part of this business management philosophy of class. And that is that we turn around and look and say, by becoming, if, if you decide to go from being an employee to also having your own real estate investment company, did you just get into business? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. Now that you're in business, do you have better tax deductions than you had before? Mm -hmm. Who gets the best tax breaks? Employees or employers? Employers. Employers. What kind of things do we start writing off that we weren't before? Everything. 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 <laughs> uh, cell phones? Yeah. yeah. Mileage, Computer. travel, meals, uh, all kinds of different deductions. Is the education itself a deduction? Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes, absolutely. <laughs> the question would be, is it going to be deductible all in year one? Or is it going to be done over four years? Depends on your business and your structure. Your CPA will help you with that. It may be structured over four years. So a fifteen thousand dollar deal would be what thirty seven fifty a year. Yeah, thirty seven fifty a year deduction. But all of a sudden you have these other deductions that you're dealing with. But the bigger issue usually comes down to cash flow. We say, look. I just can't afford another $278 a month payment. I, I, it's like buying a car. I don't have the money to make the $278 a month payment, so what can I do? Guys, if you're going to have business deductions, I encourage you to go to your employer and ask for a W-4. Go to irsgov.gov and ask for a W-4. You can change your deductions that you take. So if you're filing single and zero, you might change it to single and five, or whatever that number is, to increase your take-home pay to make the payment with. You don't change your standard of living. You're going to have the extra deductions at the end of the year, and you know that. There's a worksheet on the back of the W-4 to help you do it, and now you fix your cash flow problem. True or false? True. It's easy. It's simple. It, it gives you the flexibility to do it. So, I mean, I get this question all the time. If you have a current 401k, you can do it. On the other hand, we'll have people that say, look, I'm already in business, but I, I haven't done that. I want to take the next step. Maybe I bought the $2,000 package, for example. But I really want the whole package. So I need to come up with the money to do this. Could I roll my IRA into a 401k for my business and then borrow for myself? What's the answer? Yes. Yeah, it's your money. No problem. That's, that's the kind of thing that we can do. Uh, <clears throat> the other issue that kind of goes along with this, and, and one of the things we forget, sometimes we get talking about these loans, the flexibility and the use, that we forget about the rest of the story. So what I put on the board here is an example of somebody who rolls in $100,000, an old 401k, an IRA, a combination thereof, and it rolls into the plan. Now the goal here is, I mean, obviously with $100,000, What's the maximum loan they would qualify for? 50,000. 50,000, 50, but they don't need 50,000. They need 15,000 for this deal. So they borrow from themselves. What happens to the other 85? 
available for other investments. There you go. It's available for other investments. Phil, what kind of investments? Any kind you want. Anything within the legal scope, right? Yep. Absolutely. So, could I, I mean, I would apply it this way. If I'm in the, if, if I invest in the real estate education model, and I, and I, you know, and I go and I get the classes and I say, look, I'm going to learn how to become a hard money lender. So I'm going to pay $15,000 for education, but this year I'm going to make back $50,000 in interest from the investment that I'm going to make or investments I'm going to make. Could I do that? Yes. Yeah. Has anybody ever borrowed hard money in here? Yeah. What, what are the going rates in this area? 16 to 20 percent. 16 to 20. For easy math, let's use 20 percent. <clears throat> Help me out. And and uh, for for what term? Ninety days? One hundred eighty days? Six months to a year. Six months. Let's do two six month loans. With we've got eighty five thousand left in this example. Let's use eighty thousand at twenty percent. Everybody with me? Mm -hmm. So if I loan you the money for eighty thousand dollars at sixteen or at, excuse me at twenty percent, that would be sixteen thousand a year. Eight thousand for six months. Right? Do it again, 16000 So I've paid fifteen for the education, and I've earned sixteen back with two notes. I mean, you, let's start talking about return on investment here. What, what kind of information can we use and put this to? What if I took the $80,000 and said, I'm going to do a $50,000 loan, but then I'm going to put $30,000 down as down payment on a deal and make another $30,000? See how this all works? It's your money in the plan. It's your money to control. You choose. You you decide what you want to invest in. Simple and easy and straightforward. It's just all these rules we talked about this whole day just come down to being for you. Whatever makes sense for you.